Hi, I'm Joe Keneven, Product Manager at Senko, and I'd like to introduce you to our Magnesium line of tools. This is a family of lightweight, ergonomic finish tools, starting here with the Finish Pro 35 MG. This is our 2.5 inch angled 15 gauge nailer. Here we have our Finish Pro 33 MG. This is our 16 gauge 2.5 inch angled finish nailer. The Finish Pro 18 MG. This is our 2 and an eighth inch 18 gauge brad nailer. And finally, our SLS 18 MG. This is our inch and 5 eighths quarter crown stapler, 18 gauge. I'd like to tell you about some of the features on the tools, starting with the selectable trigger. You can very easily, with the flip of a switch, change from single shot into bump fire mode. They have a rotatable exhaust, so you can very easily direct the exhaust away from either you or the work surface. Nice convenience feature here, rotatable belt hooks. Rotate it this way if you'd like to hang it on your belt when you're not using it, or you can easily rotate it out of the way. All tools have a nice, comfortable, over-molded handle for very comfortable all-day use. A swivel plug here on the back rotates in all directions to prevent the hose from dragging on you as you're rotating the tool during use. The 18 gauge tools come with a reload indicator, you'll see here. When you see red, it's time to reload fasteners. All tools come with a nice tool-free thumb wheel depth of drive adjustment, rotated back and forth to set the proper depth setting. All tools are designed with an oil-free motor, so no daily lubrication is required. They are also designed with all metal internal components for outstanding durability. The Finish Pro 33 and the Finish Pro 35 MG come equipped with a push button air blower so you're able to easily push in the button and blow away debris from the work surface. These tools are all a great value. They're professional grade, they're designed for the professional finished carpenter, the general contractor, and even the serious DIY enthusiast. But they all come at a very competitive price. Well, joining me now is Tom Hodson, our fastener product manager here at Senco. Tom, we got all these great tools, got different applications. Tell me about uh, the different fasteners that go in these tools and why you would use one versus the other. Joe, certainly will. Well, like you said, all the tools we have are, are great tools, but the nail that goes in it and the staple that goes in it is what we really want, want to talk about today. Uh, on uh, different applications, different sets, uh, different collations. Uh, on the stapler, the SLS 18, uh, it shoots an 18 gauge LR staple. The LR staple is a glued process, um, and what, that, what we do in our glued process is that we keep our shear value down. And one of the reasons why we keep shear value down is easier on the tool. Uh, so when the driver blade comes down and it picks off that staple off of the rack, you don't want a whole lot of energy that's being used to do that. So if you have a very low shear value, you help your tool last a little longer because you won't have any wear on your driver blade. And then secondly, when you go into applications, you want to have all that energy that this fine tool does to do what it's made for, which is joint connection. So the lower the shear value, the more energy is, is made through the application to the substrate and connecting the, uh, the, the trim or the wood application. Also on our staples, we use what's called Senco. It's a proprietary water-based coating that we use on our, on our staples and our nails. So when you drive into the application, it actually comes up as a lubricant because the, the heat of the tool, again, you're, you're, you're hitting that pretty quickly, right? Um, there's a lot of foot ponds, a lot of pressure, and a lot of speed behind it. So when that speed hits that uh, fastener and goes to the application, it actually heats up the scent coat and becomes a lubricant. And when that lubricant does, it helps you have complete dries every time. Even when you get into harder, harder substrates, as we're starting to see more and more prevalent as engineered lumber. So that's what the scent coat does on this. Now, uh, the other application we have out is our 18 gauge. It's 18 gauge Brad staple. And a lot of folks use these for uh, small trim work. Uh, if you're in any type of trim that has a lot of millwork and there's a lot of edges, you don't want to ruin those edges, so you want to have a smaller head, a smaller gauge staple or nail to go into that application. Um, you know, so this is uh, chair rail, that kind of stuff that we would use it for. Uh, it is also a glue process, and in the glue process, there's low shear value in this. Same reasons why when we talked about the L-wire. Now, one of the uh, things on this is the head. The head is kind of a smaller head, and again, it leaves a smaller hole. Then you have the 16 gauge angled finish nail, and that goes into your 33. Now, 16 gauge is the applications almost as much as the 15 gauge we're gonna talk about here in a second. And uh, what guys like on this is, again, the smaller head, um, a little less uh, of a, a, a hole that you're gonna get, but there's also a little less holding power too. But it kind of has the same application. Anytime you get to anything, a trim work that, uh, a run application that moves, 
you want to have at least a 16 gauge to a 15 gauge because as that application moves, you don't want that to come off the wall after you're fine woodwork, right? Uh, also, on the, it has the, is the glued process again and also the shear value, again, for the same reasons we talked about. And does have the scent coat again for uh, lubrication and, and complete dries. Then we have the 15 gauge DA now. Now, this is a little bit different if you notice on other ones I talked about, this is a uh, mylar strip. And the way this is collated is with this strip, this mylar strip one, so it's not a glued process. So a couple things that, that happen with that. One, it's very low shear value. So you have a lot of energy that you're gonna expend off of the uh, tool into the application for that joint connection. So you have really good complete drive. You also have what's called a DA head. And our head is a true brad head, really. And also on this, uh, the shear value again is low, again, for the same reasons, and the scent coat that's on it. And the scent coat, again, I can't say enough, helps drivability, especially when you get into some harder woods and manufactured trim, that wood is a little denser. So all that energy you have to do has to be done for what it's made for, which is joint connection, and the scent coat does that. Joe, why don't we go ahead and show sure. on the 15 gauge into some trim work and show the folks how it works. Okay. Yeah, these tools are very easy to load. Stack like that. And there you go. Okay, and that was what we call single shot. Uh, right now it's also in bump fire mode, so I'll demonstrate that. So I can hold the trigger and just bounce along. Now Joe, when would you use bump fire? Uh, for less precise applications where you're, you're less concerned with it hitting an exact spot. Okay, great. Hey, did you know that we started making the, the A-Nail in 1968? I did not know that. Yeah, so we've been doing this for quite some time. I think we kind of know what we're doing. That's very cool. Well, again, this is our Finish Pro 35MG, our 15 gauge angled finish nailer, the Finish Pro 33MG, the 16 gauge angled finish nailer, the Finish Pro 18MG, our 18 gauge brad nailer, and the SLS 18MG, the quarter crown stapler. A great set of uh, finish tools at a great value.